Hello everyone, I'm Flying Dutchy and welcome back to our Castile slash Spain World Conquest and Achievement Run in Europa Universalis 1.12.2. So when we claimed uh, this province we will attack Pasai and take their important provinces. And that way we get another merchant because we have the most trade power in this trading company. Oh, a castle in Jebeu. Or something like that. No, I don't like that. Go away. I don't need a castle here. Caradel. I never heard of that one. Manchu is getting bigger. Japan is just Japan. More conversions, yeah, and the rest we cannot convert. Because of the religious seal, which is very annoying. So they have tech 14, I am tech 20, no 19. Let's rival Poland. Because we can. Yeah, we should take the capital first. I think that's the best thing to do. Tunis is five more years, then we can full annex Tunis and give it to Tlemcen. And very soon we have to take care of uh, Germany, which will be a pain in the ass. More, a bit of coalitions, I think. Yeah. This is the only region where we could have some problems with. The rest is just for the taking. Ming is also very weak. How many troops does Ming have? Let's have a look. Yeah, they have 112,000. So only Ming could be a problem, but the rest? No. Alright, we are going to declare war now. And I still want to become the Holy Holy Sea controller, but uh, we are very unlucky until now. Let's go to the Straits of Johor, so we will uh, blockade most of their provinces. And we are going to attack and declare for Melaka. Let's take this army down. We can uh, defeat it very easily. Of course, right before we attack, our general dies. Yeah, that happens way too often. I think that's programmed or something. It happens way too much. So, let's go to Jumpy and take the fort.
yeah, we convert everything to uh, Catholic here. So the rebels will not spawn that uh, quickly anymore. Great. And we have a diplomat again. Um, well, let's uh, improve relations with uh, Austria again. Keep them happy for now. And the Netherlands still don't take this province, why not? Why aren't you taking this? It takes way too long. We could uh, say to our vassals that they uh, change their religion. I'm thinking about Wales actually. They are reformed. If I ask Wales to uh, enforce their religion. Then I don't have to convert everything. Okay, I'm going to uh, take the risk. If they break free, I will just uh, get them back myself. So, kaboom. They will uh, dislike me very much now. But it will go away very quickly as well. Are you changing your religion already? Yes, you are. Okay, that is what we need. We could also do this with other, uh, other vessels, maybe uh, Byzantium. Yeah. Yeah, you should embargo my rivals. That is something you should do as well. Um, you are Catholic already. Byzantium is the only one that we still can do. And let's do that. Let's uh, say to Byzantium, no, you have to become uh, Catholic. So there we go, Byzantium is Catholic now as well. Why there is this thingy here? Oh, that's uh, the gold uh, fleet that uh, will come. When this uh, thing is failed, the fleet will come to our, uh, our nation. Okay. And what about Tlemcen? Can we not uh, change your religion as well? No, they, are, they must uh, be in the same religious group. So only Protestant and Reformed I can ask. life gain 10 prestige or lose 10 prestige and gain opinion I don't need to gain opinion So Byzantium and Wales are now Catholic as well, Naples is already, and the Mamluks and Tlemcen is not possible. Okay. Ok, 
Come on, see it though. Need to see it's uh, more forts. One, two, three, four more. So go go. And I want to give you a leader, a siege leader, if it's possible. Yeah, we've got it. So now I can give you a leader. Uh, I will recruit another one. Hmm. No siege pips, unfortunately. Let's get these lands quickly. And I missed a colony coming, becoming uh, a full province. I clicked it away. I think it's this one. Can we still see it in the log? Alagoas. Ah, this one. Okay, this is going to uh, Spanish Brazil. And let's colonize this one. And then we should get another merchant, because they have 10 provinces. And there we go! Burgundy annexed Burgundy. Uh, the Netherlands annexed Burgundy. And Spain is the emperor. We have the achievement. I saw it uh, coming. We have the achievement. Spain is the emperor. So we are now the leader of the empire. And I know we will gain imperial authority when we add some lands back to our. Uh, Empire. So what we should do is try to get some electors. Uh, like Holstein, yeah, you are Protestant, you are Reformed, Protestant, Reformed, Reformed, Protestant, Protestant. Uh, Austria, would you become a elector? Yes, you would. Okay, let's get you in then. So Austria is in Hamburg. Protestant, Protestant, Protestant. Nuremberg. They won't... Uh, become an uh, elector because their ruler is a militarist. That is stupid. Would you become a free city then? No, because you are too big. You have to be uh, one province. Memmingen, Protestant and Rip. So we have a big problem. We cannot get more. But we are gaining some Casus Belli. Let's have a look at these. The Imperial Ban. And I think we should use that one. Oh no. <laughs> Then we have to fight all of this. Hmm. Why everyone is against it? Because the Emperor is not Germanic. We cannot declare war and tell you to become Catholic again. We cannot do that. So 
So yeah, we have a problem. But uh, now we are, we are the Emperor, we get some bonuses. Uh, Spy offense, prestige, possible advisor, an extra leader, and we get some extra tax income because of our free cities, extra manpower, and land force limit. So it's all very nice to have, but uh, we have to do something very quickly. I cannot. I don't have the Casus Belli to. Uh, Get someone back to Catholic, I think. No. Nope. And we lost the battle, yes, because I didn't pay attention. Where are they going? To here. Go help them as soon as you can. Hopefully it's enough. Oh, we get another stability. Very nice. Yeah, we are almost losing that battle. I need to uh, recruit more units here. Like this. Yeah, we are going to lose this. Yeah, let's retreat. that battle okay we have an extra diplomat of course um, man we really need to do something about this empire improve relations with Hamburg, maybe we can uh, get them back as a free city. Frankfurt as well. Oh, but they are a free city already. Uh, Memmingen? So we need to convert them back to Catholic. Let's try to get them back as a free city, then we have four free cities. demand a lot of territory. They will not accept it. But they will get a modifier. A very bad one. So you have to give it back. It will not accept. But you get a very bad modifier in the province. More revolt risk. So there we go. Now we could also declare war but uh, they have too many allies.
Yeah, still the coalition is there. They ask you to release their princess back, but it's so hard. The Netherlands lost, uh, are out of the empire as well. Like uh, Nurem get Nuremberg ba uh, back in the empire, for example. Then I will go add this to the Empire. We get one point. But that's not enough to uh, get the others accepting my reform. So they ne we need to convert all of this back to Catholic. Oh dear. going to be very hard man but maybe we will uh, get it okay our army is ready Go on the ship and kill this stack here. Oh yes, we really need this one. Unjustified demands minus 50%. Get one army out of this stack, uh, make it two, and they will siege down the rest here. Okay, they, oh no, they are not Catholic. <sighs> oh, I can ask them to enforce religious unity. But I need one point for it. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. So... <sighs> yeah, they are so big that they will not accept it. But unhaled will, I can enforce religious unity. But I need one imperial authority. So let's try that. I will uh, add one province to my empire. And then I should be able to click on the button. So let's add this one, we get one point, now we should uh, be able to get uh, unhauled catholic again, yes we can, and they accepted it as well.
so now they are Catholic and this means Anhalt now they are voting for my reform as well yep so we could also uh, grant them electorship I think yes we can So this is the way how we should uh, convert everything back to Catholic then. Yeah, Cleves is too big, we cannot do it. Brandenburg, too big. Yeah, when we have enough uh, enough influence over the nations, they will accept it. So that is how we are going to do it. I will make Anhalt a uh, elector. Okay, mercantilism. We have the, the colony available here, and now we have 10 provinces, I think. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Oh, these are all very bad, these provinces. Let's get this one, then we have a, uh, a foothold here against the Inca. I think this is still uh, the palette in the uh, colonial region. Yes, it is. Alright. How is the war going? Yeah, it's going fine here. But I'm also out of time for this episode, so thank you for watching, give a like and subscribe to my channel. In the next part we will uh, continue the war and we will convert more uh, people in the empire back to Catholic. So see you there, bye bye.